Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 4 and the name of our chapter is Environmental Pollution. Today, I am going to give you a completed review of this unit. So, my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the recap, what we did in the previous lecture. Quickly listen to the questions, pause the video and then answer them. So, here are the pictures. Quickly tell me that what are the impacts of biodegradable materials on the environment? They cause infertility of the soil, outgassing, uh, they cause harm to the um, marine life, uh, they also are very bad for the air. So, they have, they cause different types of pollution in the environment. Okay, my dear students, now let's start the review. So, these are all the student learning outcomes that we have completed, alhamdulillah, in this unit. So, let's uh, quickly re uh, recap them. So, uh, in lecture number one, we discussed about the pollution and its type. So, quickly tell me define pollution and its type. So, uh, addition of any type of pollution into the environment is, called, is pollution and uh, which has a bad effect on the environment. And the three types of pollution are air, water and land pollution. Then in the next lecture, we discussed about the air pollution. So, what is air pollution? Very good. So, what are the causes or and effects of air pollution? So, air pollution is the addition of any bad thing into the air, um, like different toxic gases, burning of fossil fuels. So, they cause air pollution. And what are their effects? Uh, they cause breathing issues. And uh, now, what are its causes? Burning of fossil fuels, uh, exo uh, 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 the smoke from the exhaust of the gases. Uh, from the cars and factories, they all cause air pollution. And what are their effects? They cause different types of diseases um, and they also cause acid rain. And what are the preventive measures to reduce air pollution? We must plant more and more and more trees and we must stop uh, using, uh, limit the using of fossil fuels. Then we discussed about the water pollution. So, what is water pollution? The addition of any bad thing into the water is called water pollution. And what are the causes and effects of water pollution? It causes, its causes are when we dump oil, uh, toxic water and sewage and uh, uh, different uh, waste into the water, it causes water pollution. And how it affects? It affects the marine life, it affects um, uh, when the acid rain enters into the water, it affects the water keeps it toxic and it makes the water unclean and makes people and uh, animals also uh, sick. So, how we can prevent? We must plant more and more, more and more trees. Uh, the uh, water from the factories must be, must be treated, the water from the sewage must be treated so that it will become less toxic. Then we discussed about the land pollution. So, land pollution we have discussed that how the pollution is in the land when you dump it in the land, there are different problems. So, addition of anything that has a bad effect on the environment is called uh, on the land as land pollution. So, uh, what are the causes and effects? So, when you uh, dump the dumpings in the land, it causes land pollution. And what is the effect? It causes different types of uh, harmful insects to breed, which is why it diseases. In this case, infertility of land is caused. What is the preventive measure? Plant more and more trees, proper disposable of uh, waste. So, this is how we can treat uh, less use of pesticides and herbicides. They all can. Uh, lead to the uh, uh, in the uh, amount of to lessen the amount of land pollution. So, my dear students, in the next lecture, we discussed about the effects of burning fossil fuels and greenhouse. So, what are the effects of burning of fossil fuel and greenhouse? The emission of carbon dioxide into the air uh, makes the earth very warm because it is a warm gas, which ultimately causes the greenhouse effect and uh, burning of fossil fuel se bhi jo hai bahut zyada different jo hai harmful gases nikalti hain jo ke zameen ko garam kar rahi hain jiski wajah se hamara jo earth ka temperature hai wo rise ho raha hai aur uski wajah se glaciers jo hain uh, snow mountains jo hain wo melt ho rahi hain aur water level jo hai wo uh, rise hota ja raha hai Okay, my dear students, then we discussed about the biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials. What are the difference between the two? The non, uh, the biodegradable material can be decomposed by the uh, decomposers, whereas non-biodegradable material cannot be decomposed by the um, decomposers. Then what are the impacts 
of non biodegradable material on uh, environment they cause pollution and what are the ways to reduce the impact uh, we must lessen the use of plastic bags iske alawa recycling ke upar zyada se zyada focus karna chahiye taaki jo hai non biodegradable materials jo hai inka impact jo hai wo kam ho jaye and my dear students now is the time for evaluation and practice for this you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students uh, listen to the questions very carefully and uh, after uh, listening to me pause the video and then complete your worksheet what is pollution define it enlist the types of pollution aapko types of pollution batani hai compare the causes of air, uh, of air water and land pollution जो कॉजेज हैं इन तीनों पोल्यूशन के उनको आपने कंपेयर करना है वॉट इज ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट देन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन बायोडिग्रेडेबल एंड नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल मटीरियल देन लेस द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ नॉन नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल मटीरियल ऑन एनवायरमेंट क्या इम्पैक्ट है नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल मटीरियल का एनवायरमेंट पे वो लिखें वट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ अस एज अमन बींग टू रिड्यूस द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल मटीरियल ऑन एनवायरमेंट कैसे हम लोग जो है कोशिश कर सकते हैं नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल मटीरियल को कम uh, करने का उसका इम्पैक्ट जो है एनवायरनमेंट पे सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव डन ऑल ऑफ दिस क्विकली पॉज द वीडियो एंड कंप्लीट द वर्कशीट आई होप एवरीबॉडी हैज डन इट सबमिटेड टू योर टीचर फॉर ग्रेडिंग एंड फॉर मार्क्स सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर होमवर्क यू व्हाट यू विल डू इज डू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम सेक्शन सी गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी बायोडिग्रेडेबल सब्सटांसिस शॉर्ट टर्म पोल्यूशन वाइल नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल मटीरियल cause term pollution explain this statement acha a biodegradable uh, uh, jo materials hain wo short term pollution cause karte hain because ultimately they decompose aur non biodegradable materials jo hai ye long term pollution jo hai wo cause karte hain aisa kyun hai isko explain kare because non biodegradable materials do not compose or or they compose very slowly इट टेक्स वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर देम टू डीकम्पोज तो इस वजह से ये लॉन्ग टर्म पोल्यूशन कॉज करते हैं सो राइट इट डाउन इन योर नोटबुक सो फॉर रैप अप इन दिस यूनिट वी हैव लर्न दैट पोल्यूशन इज द एडिशन ऑफ पोल्यूटन टू आर नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट एयर पोल्यूशन इज कॉज बाय बर्निंग ऑफ फॉसल फ्यूल्स एंड ट्रैफिक स्मोक इट हैज बैड इफेक्ट ऑन हेल्थ एंड एनवायरमेंट we can reduce it by growing plants and burn fossil fuel at open areas. Water pollution is caused by addition of water material in water bodies. it causes many diseases like skin diseases typhoid and also affects marine life uh, we can reduce it by not dumping by not dumping waste in water bodies and then we discussed that land pollution is caused by solid liquid waste and produced by human activities it causes skin diseases and imbalanced ecosystem we can reduce it by trying to produce less trash and recycling and reusing the items burning of fossil fuels sand greenhouse gases sand greenhouse gases and cause the earth to warm by absorbing sun rays which is called global warming uh, materials that can decompose is biodegradable and which cannot decompose is called non biodegradable material non biodegradable material affect marine food chain and pollutes water and air we can reduce it by separating waste recycling use of organic bags then plastic bags okay my dear students i hope now you know all about environmental pollution how to stop it what are the impacts what are the causes and how you can prevent it keep everybody around you safe keep your earth clean and green thank you so much have a good day and allah hafiz